Good morning, everyone. Here we are at Target, hiding around the bushes back there somewhere. I did put out a poll for you guys to choose a color, pink, blue, or yellow, and pink obviously won. So here I am, being an outfit repeater. Maybe I'm an outfit repeater, but you're an outfit rememberer, which is just as pathetic. And I still want to do like this whole transformation video that I wanted to show you guys how I wanted my hair and how it came out to me. But yeah, I'm just trying to volumize my hair now. And of course, I love me some e.l.f. Um, I do need some brushes and I'm going to go ahead. They're not pink brushes, obviously, so I'm going to just still count it as pink, kind of. And grab this one because I need it for my eyebrows. And cheaper it is, I mean, it still works as an expensive one for my eyebrows. It's still good. I used to work at Target and I would always stock up the winky looks and I, I was obsessed with the design and how it's packaged, all that stuff. But man, they're expensive. Just for this one, it goes for $19. And I guess it's blush? It's so cute. But I'm not gonna take any of this. I already have too many of that stuff. I don't need it, not necessary. And their, um, their lip balms are so cute too. This one goes for 18. This is small. Let me make sure I'm saying that right. Yeah, so this goes for $18. That's way too much. Smell test the Pacifica um, perfumes that they have. They don't have a tester for this one. Or are they even testers? Maybe not. No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, look, these are cute too. Okay, let me, show. let me try this one. This is the Island Vanilla. That's a kid drinking out coffee. Oh, that smells good. Yeah. You guys yeah. smell that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. This one's the passion fruit. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. It's a very soft uh, smell. Where do they have this one? Okay. I guess they're out of stock, so we're just move on from this area. I feel like I can look for a pink body scrub. I've been seeing the pixie on the glow blush and bronze um, everywhere on social media and I'm kind of tempted to try it out but um, I don't know I already have all these blushes so I'm gonna just wait to try this my favorite color is not just one color it's actually all the pastel colors they did a collab with Hello Kitty that is so cute blend it girl blend it girl but i'm just so disappointed that the fact uh they don't have any pink brushes years ago i wanted to start a youtube channel and um i had a flip phone back in high school so now that i have better quality uh, phone and all that um i'm just starting my youtube channel all late i do love bird's bees it's been a while a good minute I'm gonna go ahead and get this since it's pink it is rose and they are makeup removers so I'm gonna use this I really need some makeup removers so I'm gonna go ahead and take this they have bioma at Target if you guys didn't know um, but I don't need any bioma products right now obviously this one has green tea can't take that it has that green tea in it um, what else do they have honestly I don't really need any um, serums or cleansing oils right now. I think I'm good with what I have so far, what I have purchased on Sephora. Oh, the body scrub. This goes. So of course there's this pink. It's not bright or anything like that. It's a nice pink. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that with me. What? We completely missed Tree Hut. Like a whole section of Tree Hut. And let's go ahead and smell something new. I really want to take the dragon fruit. So, did I smell dragon fruit last time? Who knows? 
It smells good. You know what? And it's pink, so we need a new one. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. It smells really good and it feels very sugarish. So I'm gonna smell another pink one and other choices that they have here. And let's see if I change my mind from grabbing this. Okay, so this one is called the Morocco. Moroccan? Moroccan. Moroccan. Uh, I can't even open it. This is a nice light pink too. Oh yeah, that smells really good. This one's nice. Ooh. I decided to leave this one and I'm going to go ahead. Oops. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take the Moroccan rose. brand that I would want a PR from would be honestly from Princess Polly. They have so many cute clothes. I haven't smelled Sunkissed Poppy. I don't know if these are all new. Honestly, I'm not always checking what's new for a tree hub. But this one smells really good, dude. And of course, my favorite, the watermelon is hiding back here. But this one's my all-time favorite, the best one that they have from tree hub. But Maybe I'll change my mind later on if they make a better one. So let's move on somewhere else. Over here, they do have more pink and clay mask, all that stuff. Um, all that fun stuff. If you guys ever want to give a gift to your friends, your teacher, or someone, um, these are so cheap and affordable and they're really good too for your face. Um, I used to try, I used to use these actually. The peel-off mask. But I am not gonna take any. I'm just showing you guys what you guys could get for cheap here at Target. <laughs> I have been using Crescent S shampoo and conditioner. Um, the prices are crazy. They have been going up. Well, you know, inflation and all that. These now go for twenty four dollars. Um, I believe it used to go for twenty. I'm not sure. I think it went up five bucks or four bucks. Type of pink um, shampoo for this video and conditioner. I'm almost out. And I know that they have some over here for Function Beauty. Um, this is the curly hair. I don't really have curly hair. I have wavy hair. These actually are cheaper. But I'm going to go ahead and try them out. So this is the conditioner. Get the shampoo. Also, I believe these were going viral, I think on TikTok. So I don't know if I should take the, um, let me see. If I should switch out the Function Beauty and then use this. Brand. Not my husband in the back getting Oreos. You guys. So this is Monday. Um, this one was going viral. Any of you who want to start YouTube or you just want to record yourself, I think this is really cute and a great idea. Um, this goes for $30. It's by Con Air and it's really cool. So it's LED lights and you can place your phone right there and you can you know, start your own channel, doing your makeup or skincare routine. One of the questions was, what's my dream job as a kid? And I did want to be a news reporter slash a tornado chaser, but then my mom got to me and told me like, girl, you're so thin, you're gonna fight away with the tornado. So yeah, the tornado was gonna catch me instead of me catching the tornado. But yeah, um, I'm gonna stop by the Lego section, Ooh, Lego flowers. Um, am I gonna take one today? Probably not. So here they are. They have it in this section. I thought they didn't have them here, but I think this one's so cute. Um, this one's the best one, actually. This one right here goes for 50 bucks, but I'm not taking it. And then I also got out Who's My Celebrity Crush, and 
it used to be Justin Bieber. I know I'm basic for that. But I don't know if you guys are into Halo, but I do kind of have a crush on Master Chief. Yeah, I'll show you guys how he looks, what he looks like. <laughs> yeah. That one's the cutest one. Mm -hmm. The wildflower bouquet. That one's so cute. Honestly, I would prefer these Lego flowers than actual real flowers. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. It is $15 for the small ones. It's so cute. I think it would be cute with my mirror and my whole little vanity setup. I need new towels. Um, these go for $4.50. That's not a bad price. And um, it's kind of a pink color. So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself this one. My next question was, who's my favorite YouTuber? For Mel, it is Face Rug. I've been watching him for many years now. And then for a female, I watched Laura, Laura Miato. Um, yeah, I'll probably show you guys who they are right here. And they're really cool, so hopefully one day I meet them. Target also always has a clearance section. Um, but yeah, I saw this hair dye box, and would you guys color your hair this way? Uh, honestly, I wouldn't. It's kind of funky. And yeah, so the next question is fashion inspiration. Honestly, I take fashion inspiration from a bunch of girls that I follow on Instagram. I really don't have one specifically. Um, okay, so I'm going to just say that my favorite food is uh, pizza. I really love how they have these cute nail sets, um, the Instant Manny. Honestly, they're cheap. And then this one is so adorable. How much do these go for? Oh wait, they're on sale? Fake nail. Um, was $99, now $6.99. These are so cute. These are like so perfect for spring right here. And it's only eight dollars. Not bad. You guys, I've been looking for a pink sweater online. Found a pink hoodie. This is what I was looking for. I swear, with the zip. You guys, twenty-five dollars for this one. I'm gonna go for an extra, extra small. Um, I'm very small, of course. Okay, guys, I'm gonna probably hurry up because I. This is kind of a no budget because I really didn't know what I was going to come in here for. But um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of hurry it up and I'll see you guys probably next at the checkout. And what I like least about YouTube is the fact that people who don't even try in their videos get recognized and then they blow up and gain so many subscribers real quick. And it's just like not giving opportunities to those who are actually trying on their channel. The best thing that I like about YouTube is the community that you could build. And last but not least, um, how old am I? Honestly, I don't want to answer this because it just reminds me of how <laughs> old I'm getting. But I'll be turning 29 on May 7 this year. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and like this video. And I'll see you guys next time.